This video provides some information on the technical architecture of Grid for Architects. Here we can see the four layers of Grid for Architects. We will now explain them in order, starting with the graphical user interface. Architects access the Grid for Architects service via a web portal. This portal is based on the GridSphere Grid Portlets web application. These open source tools allow access to the Globus Toolkit middleware via a web interface. The basic GridSphere portal has been substantially adapted to the specific requirements of Architects offices. The broker is central to the Grid for Architects service and is invoked when an architect submits a rendering job to the portal. The broker layer has been developed from scratch. It contains three components. The grid broker, which is a meta scheduler responsible for selecting computing resources and distributing the rendering jobs to them, according to the rendering requirements of the architect. This component supports several middleware interfaces. Resource discovery, responsible for maintaining up-to-date information on grid and cloud resources. Grid deploy, which packages up the scene to be rendered with the rendering engine for deployment on the selected computing resource. The broker makes use of a standard Linux Globus Toolkit 4 distribution. Grid for Architects makes use of several Globus components. The monitoring and discovery service to monitor and discover resources. The grid security infrastructure to authenticate users the Globus Resource Allocation Manager to submit jobs and Grid FTP to transfer files onto the computing resources. Finally, we have the hardware resources used by the application. The hardware needs to meet some typical cluster features. Run on a Linux operating system. Access to a network file system. Use a job scheduler. Cloud resources typically use virtual images, which means the correct software can be easily installed. For users of Grid for Architects, the hardware setup and configuration is of no concern, since only the web portal is used to submit and to control the rendering. Thank you for listening. For further information, please visit the Gridypedia website.